Hello, and welcome to Cloud Native Takes from the Susan Rancher community. My name is Robert, and I'm joined here by Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm an engineer at SUSE who works on cloud native technologies. And today we're going to talk about the CNCF or the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And so I guess we should ask, you know, Matt, what is the CNCF? So the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, the CNCF, is a sub foundation of the Linux Foundation. And you can think of the Linux Foundation that you normally think of with Linux like a big family of foundations and sub foundations. And the CNCF is just one of those that uh, has a mission to kind of cultivate cloud native technologies. Okay. And why isn't it just part of the Linux Foundation proper? Um, that's a good question. So the Linux Foundation is kind of a foundation of foundations. Um, and part of that lets a, a sub foundation just focus on a specific scope and just have the people who are interested uh, in that sub foundation be part of it and its governance and the way it works and the projects in it. And each one of them kind of operates a little bit independently uh, with their own way of doing things around their own needs. And so things from other types of foundations, say something around Linux or around automotive, doesn't bleed into this. It kind of gives a, a sub foundation the ability to focus on what their goals are and what's important to them. Awesome. So how did the CNCF come about? So the CNCF came about, as I understand it, um, a long time ago, it started with Kubernetes and Kubernetes was a Google project. And there were a lot of companies involved in it and they wanted it to live in um, a, a home that wasn't controlled by a single company in order to let it thrive. And so the CNCF was created and Kubernetes became its first project in order to give it that vendor neutral home where lots of people from you know, many vendors and people who are not at vendors to collaborate together on the technology. And the CNCF is chartered to do what exactly? Uh, kind of just foster cloud native technology adoption, whether it's individual projects, there's a bunch of projects that are uh, owned and, and overseen by the CNCF, uh, or, you know, creating papers that help people kind of understand the technologies and putting on conferences. They've got things like there's a couple of big, um, you know, Kubernetes and cloud native cons every year. There are smaller, more regional conferences. They're kind of there to kind of cultivate the space uh, in many different ways. Now, no foundation is complete without its members. So how is membership broken down in the CNCF? So the CNCF has members that kind of go across two different areas. Uh, one is your level of membership. They've got things like platinum and gold and silver, different levels of members, depending on how much you give and how involved you are. Uh, and so there's a bunch of different members, over 600 different member organizations. Uh, wow. And then there's different kinds of members. There are members who are vendors. There are members who are end users. And the only thing that they do is consume these technologies and use them to run their business. And you get big companies such as, you know, uh, Apple is an example of an end user company. And then on the vendor side, there's, there's SUSE and there's many other vendors who produce and support technologies around this space. And then there's even places like universities that get involved in this as well. And this is not just with organizations as members, but individuals can be members as well. Is that correct? No, you actually see it mostly as organizations and not individual memberships. Um, because oh, okay. if you're going to contribute to the projects or be involved in it, you don't have to be a member. Members are there to kind of support the foundation. But you can be a project maintainer for a CNCF project without having any association with any of the members. In fact, I'm sure there are many of the maintainers who are that way. Wow, that's interesting. So a lot of projects. And if someone wanted to find some of, of these projects, it's landscape.cncf.io. But can you explain some of these high level projects that we have in the CNCF? Sure. There's, uh, the, well, the landscape.cncf.io will show you lots of projects in the cloud native landscape, including those that aren't managed or owned by the CNCF. And okay. if you instead go to something like cncf.io slash projects, you can see the CNCF projects. And there's uh, different levels to CNCF projects. Uh, graduated, um, incubating, and sandbox. And an easy way to think about this is if you've ever heard of crossing the chasm, 
right? And you've seen the technology bell curve that goes up and down. Uh, if you look at the ones that are for the masses that have been proven out and are mm. stable in there, those are the graduated projects. And there's projects like Kubernetes, which is a container scheduler. There's Helm, the package manager for Kubernetes. There's Prometheus, which is a, a project around monitoring. There's Container D, which is a container runtime. There's a bunch of these graduated projects that are there, they're stable, they can be widely used and trusted. Then there's uh, incubating projects. And those projects are, they're still proving themselves out, but they may be widely used uh, in production. And people are using them in production. They're not experiments. They're finding their fit and learning along the way. And there's a lot of those projects as well as the next step down. And then there's sandbox. And sandbox are a wide range of things from everything from experiments you're trying to figure out towards things where just one you know, vendor or company came in and said, we want to make this uh, available for many people to contribute and be involved in, and we're going to see where this goes. Uh, it's a whole wide range of things, but they're much more experimental, and, and we're, it's still trying to find its way. And projects can go from sandbox to incubating to graduated. They've got more and more criteria they need to meet in order to, to hit those phases. And each phase gives it more trustworthiness and stability whether it's maintainers from multiple companies or going through threat analysis with an outside vendor. They go through these things to make you feel more comfortable and stable with them. So depending on your level of comfort for bleeding edge technology, you can either go with graduated or you can turn around and go with something incubating, but it might be safe to stay, kind of stay away from sandbox if your organization's not quite ready for those projects just yet. Is that correct? Uh, maybe that's kind of where the uh, everything says you should go. You know, mm -hmm. sandbox is really experimental, and it doesn't have enough stability that it may not be archived at some point and uh, go away. So it's not one of those things you want to depend on. But if you're a fast-moving organization who's okay with that, then those projects may be good for you too. Wow. So in summary, CNCF is. Uh, it is an organization designed to kind of foster this whole cloud native space. It's got members, uh, hundreds of them, projects, over a hundred of them um, at various levels of maturity to try to help you uh, with what you're trying to do. And if you're interested, it's an organization you can get involved with in many different ways. Awesome. Well, Matt, thank you for your time. And if anyone out there who wants to know more about the CNCF, Matt has provided links in the description below where you can find out more about the CNCF and how you can get involved. And if you want to get involved in the SUSE and Rancher community, you can check out community.susa.com. Thanks again, Matt.